So I had a thought for the meditation. Yeah. Um, and it's sort of two parts to it. I think the one part is about like how to move through disappointment mm. because I think often what, like the way that I approach disappointment, like, yeah, I can give space to it, but then I want to kind of find the corrective thing to like not be disappointed, mm. right? As in like, okay, if this is not the thing, let me go find the thing that is rather than maybe just, okay, I'm disappointed. So there's that part. And then also maybe having a bit more balance. Um, because if if my data points at then this is my anecdotal stuff that I'm yeah using, yeah yeah for if, sure if my ahead. if my data points so far are showing me that I'm having a sort of skewed negative perspective on something which is maybe realistically not as negative, and so I'm maybe more disappointed than one could say is appropriate. Yeah. yeah. Then how to sort of I don't know is there a way to kind of close the gap on that maybe it's not so easy in a short yeah. meditation but those are the two ideas that came to well, me okay all right so let, let's let's you and i co-construct this meditation um okay this is so i'll kind of give some opinions and share some thoughts about this and then we can figure out what the meditation will look like so firstly and again this is just like one of the things there's a name kind of for this i would call this the negativity schema right okay mm -hmm. so, all right and then um you know so there's this idea i don't really know where it comes from that uh you know what you resist persists so if you're experiencing negative states negative expectations around dating attachment etc then i mean okay so first off I'm going to kind of speak out of both sides of my mouth. Like it's a, it's a problem. Like you're going to encounter problems due to that and you should work through it. Okay, fine. But then at the same time, this expectation of negative experiences or this excessive negativity is there for a reason. Generally, and it's kind of a little bit, you know, more like kind of depth psychology perspective, you know, that generally goes back to generally i think childhood experiences maybe adolescence earlier adulthood whatever like it's it's a result of emotional learnings so i think that step one is to actually open up to it um actually like study it and then study it with like like care and compassion and love towards yourself like oh like i have these crappy negative expectations and and then so then and here in a minute, we'll actually what I'm thinking to do is actually do some experiential work around like opening up to negative, like the negative expectations. And then what I think would arise would be grief. Um, and then. Kind of again, going back to this coherence therapy model, so we'll discover it, integrate it, and then we can also. And what I would be think what I think that we do is that we bring up that we reflect on how we have actually had positive experiences um and even to be clear in as much as that this is imaginal work we can straight up fabricate the positive experiences the perfect nurturers can just be loving with you even if you're expecting this to be another disappointing relationship with them <laughs> And then that can actually shift the expectations over time. Um, and then maybe just one other just note. And I mean, I think this is clear, but, you know, again, the first noble truth of Buddhism is that there is suffering in life. And so dating, healing, connection is not separate from suffering. And I think we have to open up to it. And then also, I want to be clear, opening up to it doesn't mean that it goes away it just means that mm. we're a little bit less reactive and we're maybe adding a little like one or two less layers of suffering on to on top of it that's what comes up um but let me turn it over to you and how's that landing and then we'll see if we can fit in the meditation yeah i mean that that makes sense uh, i don't know how we would fit all of that into a meditation <laughs> well like do you need to go right at the hour no 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 no, okay, I, don't. All right. um, I have a bit of time after. Okay, all right. So, I mean, well, that, that was my concern. But... <laughs> okay, well, let's just see. We're just going to do our best. So, all right. So, go ahead and find the meditation posture. Push the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. 
Take a super deep breath in. And exhale. Once again, super deep breath in. And exhale. And then once again, super deep breath in. And exhale. Okay, so now bring to mind all your disappointments around dating, around connection. Like, and allow for the upset to arise. And as you're seeing this, so maybe really review disappointments. Uh, and as you're seeing all of this, like really let it resonate in the body. And now in a kind of more metacognitive way, recognize that this is suffering. Now, go ahead and have the perfect nurturers come to you and, and soothe you around this. And now they remind you that you are not alone in your suffering. that other suffer in just the same way. And now, kind of going back to this negativity schema, so this, these expectations of negative outcomes. So kind of review maybe recent events and then while you're doing this, appreciate that, that maybe there's this kind of expectation of excessively or over expectation of negative outcome. Now, don't shame yourself at all, but just see how your expectations necessarily color your experience. Now the perfect nurturers are with you and your suffering, your disappointment around this is real. And maybe you've caused it all, but okay, who cares? It's it's still suffering. And they don't want you to suffer. You have experienced disappointment. And now Go ahead and give voice to whatever it is that's upsetting. Now, and you can just do this silently, and, and then they're going to listen. The perfect nurturers will really understand and then also comfort you as you're giving voice to what's upsetting about this. You can imagine that they might lean in, tilt the head. 
Nod sweetly. that they're so present with you, so sweet with you. And just keep giving voice to whatever feels unfinished. And again, see how they get it. See how you are not alone in this. Your suffering is thankfully not unique. Others also suffer in the same way that you do. And it's real. That's right. And now have the perfect nurturers tell you just the thing that you need to hear to maybe start feeling a bit better around this. That's right, keep going. And also really allow yourself to take this in, be, be receptive to them best, best that you can. They encourage you. They might see, you know, or they see some disappointments and maybe even negative expectations. And they validate that that's how you see it. But they're very hopeful. They believe in you. And see if you can open up to that. They see your good qualities. They see your tenacity, your willingness to work through this, and they know that you're going to work through it. That's right. And now, this might be a bit premature, but we'll just try this out. And if you're not ready for it, it's okay. But now, so of course, you and the perfect nurturers, you see that many things have been, many experiences and relationships have been disappointing, that there is valid reason for your expectation of negative outcomes. They fully see that. And now they also remind you that it's not always been so bad, that you've also had good experiences. And now reflect on those good experiences. And I want to be clear about the reason for this. Kind of opening up to the good experiences will help us do actual memory, emotional memory reconsolidation around this excessive expectation of negative result. So go ahead and reflect on positive 
relationships that you've had in the past. Go ahead and do that now. That's right. Keep going. And now see if you can really feel the, the positivity in the body. Feel how, oh, okay, it's not always so bad. Now this isn't denying any of your negative experiences, but it is in a fair and balanced way, looking back and seeing that, oh, I have had positive experiences around relationship. Now really open up to that now. That's right. Okay, good. And now, turn your mind towards your real adult life going forward. And see yourself moving through life. And see relationships going a bit better. Notice how there's this ease that you feel that also you have the capacity to love. That you expect others to be loving and kind towards you. And also just notice how that you carry yourself a bit more lightly moving through life. That's right. And now notice how your expectations have have shifted just a bit. That's right. Okay. Now I'll count from five to one, and when I get to one, you'll be awake and present in the room, settled in the experience. Five, four, three, two, one, awake and present in the room, settled in the experience. 